Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the third day of Bookmas. For today's video, I thought it'd be very fun to basically look back at a handful of the books that I've read this year and recommend them to you as gifts to give very, very specific people. I've actually come up with these like people prompts or whatever and they are very very specific and somewhat random these are all books that i really enjoyed they're mostly five star books and i just think that they would also make really good gifts this is in no particular order this is literally just like prompts i came up with really randomly that i thought seemed quite fitting so let us start the first book that i want to talk about is a book that you could give your precocious younger sibling and i have a person in mind that some of these prompts are inspired by some people i know personally i think that my younger sister is relatively precocious and i would definitely recommend these books to her and i actually because i own all of these books i would quite like to have her read them at some point i think it would be really sweet but this is a middle grade series and it is an older series but it is one that i started last year and finished this year and absolutely love to bits and it is the series of unfortunate events by lemony snicket this series is just so much fun i think the majority of people know what this is about it's about the Baudelaire siblings who basically become orphaned after their parents die in a fire and then they go through a lot of they go through a long journey of, as you can imagine, very unfortunate events <laughs> and they get kind of passed off from guardian to guardian who don't really know how to look after them properly and have some issues. The reason I like the idea of like a precocious child reading these books is basically because all the adults in these books are really useless and the kids are the ones that like manage to like save the day and get things done and they're all very clever and like resourceful in their own ways and I think that it is a great series to give children the feeling of like being powerful and knowing that they have the possibility to do loads of different things. So the next book that I have to recommend to you is basically a book for that cousin of yours who just can't stop staring at a video game screen. They are always like staring at their computer screen, they're always playing these games and they tend to be very violent games and you know what they say, video games kind of rot your brain, so what's a better alternative to that? It's to read a book. So the book that I want to recommend to you is going to be Battle Royale because this has a lot of elements that are very similar to those kind of violent video games. I think that anyone who is trying to transition from playing a lot of video games to reading books would find this very useful and if you're trying to get someone to be more interested in books this is definitely a book that would pique their interest in reading because it is a very action-packed thrilling book it is kind of dystopian i think that like it opens up a lot of conversations as well it's very similar to the hunger games so if that's something that a person has previously been interested in then i also think that this book would be good i know for a fact that my brother who is also a big fan of video games i don't actually know what games he plays but he plays games on his computer a lot and he has been reading battle royale recently i considered buying this for him for christmas but he actually borrowed the book before i had the chance to do that and he's reading it at the moment and he's loving it so that is proof the proof is in the pudding that this would be a good book for that kind of person. The next book that I'm going to recommend you is for the thriller reader in your life who always complains about the ending, always says they know like what the ending's gonna be. The book that I'm gonna recommend is I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. I personally think that of all the endings that I've read, it's the one that I was least likely to guess but also sounded really plausible so there's no room for like complaining about it. This book is a wild ride it's really short easy it's actually a really great book to read during the winter because it has very wintry like cold isolated vibes and the ending is just wild i like this next one it may seem a bit random but i just i think it's kind of funny and this next book is going to be recommended to that family member of yours who is sure to ask the most random what if questions this is inspired by my sister. My sister has a tendency to ask really random questions. That's where the idea came from and the book that I'm going to recommend is 112263 by Stephen King. The reason that I think this is great for people who ask what if questions is because I feel like those people like like to question the idea of like what if things were different, like what if there was an alternate reality might be a bit of a far stretch. 
but like I I see that connection and I think that people like to question that probably would also think about like what would happen if these big events in history were different like what if there was an alternate history and that's pretty much what this book runs with is the idea of like what if history was different what would happen if you could go back in time and stop the assassination of JFK and that is the thing that this book builds off of and I found it very interesting and I'm not usually someone that reads a lot of time travel books but this has definitely got me more interested in time travel and more specifically alternate history. Okay this this next prompt is also a bit whack but it kind of goes with the book so it's kind of fitting just for the book. This prompt is the one person in your friend group who everyone is certain is like like they must be on something and yet they're actually the most sober person in the world. What I mean by that is someone who just, you know, seems off their rocker most of the time. Like they just seem like genuinely crazy. And the book that I would recommend to get that person is Bunny because this book is just a wild ride. It is crazy. It's indescribable basically. I think that someone whose brain is a bit like of a mush would really enjoy this. Someone that's very, very creative and for someone that is, you know, like comes up with loads of random wacky things so this next person is going to be the middle-aged man in your life who grew up watching martial arts movies and this prompt is solely inspired by my dad who absolutely loves that kind of thing. So this is inspired by him and that's why it's very specific to like a middle-aged man and whatever but the book that I'm going to recommend for this is going to be Jade City by Fonda Lee. I would just recommend this book and this series in general because it's fabulous. I've only read the first two books so far but the third book is coming out relatively soon and I can't wait to read it and you know get an ending to this trilogy. It's just been so much fun and it's so perfectly written. It takes a bit of brain power to get through these books but I also personally feel like they're quite good books to transition into fantasy if you haven't read fantasy before. They're urban fantasy which makes them in my opinion a little bit more grounded, a little bit more easy to work with. If you are someone that's really into like the aesthetic of like martial arts movies and if my dad ever has an inkling towards reading a book this is going to be the book that I'm going to recommend to him straight away. Everyone once in their life has come across a person and been like they are for sure born in the wrong decade. So this recommendation is going to be for someone that you know who is just so elegant and graceful and really gives you that kind of like 1950s Hollywood glamour vibes. The book I'm going to recommend for that person is going to be The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I think that anyone that has very 1950s glamour style and like vibes would enjoy this book. I think the majority of people would enjoy this book but I think especially for someone that fits that style. I really like this next one and it's going to be for the real life gossip girl who likes a side of social commentary with their tea. This book is going to be Ace of Spades. Bloody love this book. This is like exactly as I described it. It gets described as being gossip girl meets like get out kind of vibes because it has social commentary, it brings up racism, it brings up class, but it's also super fun to read. Anyone who likes drama basically would like this book because <laughs> that's what it's full of, like a lot of drama. This next book is going to be a recommendation for the medieval history nerd who just needs a little bit more magic in their life. This book is going to be Legend Born. I bloody love this book, I would recommend it to a lot of people, but I wanted to find something that kind of encompasses all the things that Legend Born is. I think some of the most important things about it is the fact that it's an Arthurian legend retelling and that it's got this element of magic which I really enjoyed. This is classified as a YA but it doesn't read like too YA but also it's written in a way that is relatively easy to read so again for anyone that doesn't read a lot of books if you have not read this I would recommend it and if there's some someone that you think might enjoy this definitely get it for them because it's one of those books that so many people are gonna love and I haven't heard a bad thing about it. The last book that I have to recommend is going to be for that sister of yours who is potentially questionably obsessed with slasher movies. That's me. That's why it's a sister. It could be a brother, it could be a cousin, it could be a niece, a nephew, a mum, a dad, whoever. If you know someone who is obsessed with slasher movies, then this is definitely the book you need to get them. It is the Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. This book is so good. It's just, it's so much fun. It is like, it's got all of the references that you need. It is just, 
I bloody loved it. If it wasn't for the fact that I had already bought this and read it, I would be asking for it for Christmas because it's so good. And it's also kind of like made me be on the hunt for even more like slasher themed books. If you know someone that loves slasher movies, get them this for Christmas. They'll bloody love it. So that was the end of the video. They were the 10 really really specific and random people that I came up with for these books. I hope you enjoyed this this video like I really liked the concept of it. I thought it'd be fun for me to like kind of try and use that little tiny creative part of my brain to come up with some prompts. If you can think of any recommendations that you think would make a really great gift like any books that would make a great gift for someone this holiday season then leave that down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.